people and welcome back to my channel I'm Andy and today we are going to keep talking about mysterious cases of disappearance are you ready okay so today we are going to talk about a great enigma the most disconcerting one according to the Interpol which occurred in Spain it is the case of David Guerrero he was only 13 years old when he disappeared but everybody in his town claimed that he was going to be the next Picasso because believe me, his artworks were amazing he was a painter that's why the case is also known as the child painter now let's move on to the case 32 years ago, on 1987 David Guerrero disappeared but what exactly happened that day? the 6th of April well, let me explain you little by little as every normal day, David was going to the art academy, as every afternoon. But that day was a special day, because he has to go, first of all, to another place. An art gallery where um, artwork of him was being exposed. This art gallery was called La Maison, and the picture that was put there was the one called Cristo de la Buena Muerte so he was going to be interviewed his father made him a little map to where to go from La Maison and then to the art academy and he went alone but that same afternoon after all those hours the father went to pick him up, as always, at the art gallery. No, sorry, to the art academy. Okay, but when he entered there, he didn't see David, which was really strange. He asked a janitor, and the janitor says that he didn't come that day. And that's when the mystery starts. So now yes, the father now went to the art gallery to pick up him, thinking that he might be there. But he received the same explanation. Nobody knew where he was going. But that day he didn't neither went to the art gallery. As I said, David was really young when when he disappeared. He was only thirteen years old. That's why many neighbors claim that he might have run away from home. But his parents were really sure that his child would never do that. He was really mature for his age, very responsible, so it didn't come along. Um, so what really happened, well, we will never know. But let's analyze little by little some traits or maybe some information or facts that I have searched. That same day, the Queen of Spain was visiting Malaga and, he, and she was going to pass through a street where was the street that David has to cross. Many neighbors went to see the Queen, but nobody watched David. So that's why the policeman at first reacted that it was a kidnapping because that area was really safe because of the queen presence that same night a massive search start the parents of David put a lot of posters around the street as they were really poor some neighbors give them a telephone in case a kid the kidnap uh, the kidnappers uh, call them um, I have also, well, I want also to mention that parents contact mediums, maybe to to see to see if they know something about David. Okay, so as I say, they were really poor, but thanks to friends and neighbors, they take some money from them to put as a rewarding. Uh, to offer as a reward if anyone see the boy 
or has seen the boy or has some trait of him any any fact or any little trait will be taken into account so that that's why they put this reward okay so now let's move on to the hypothesis the things that might happen to david i'm going to explain the one that for me it can be the most possible one and it is the one that the police came along with after a deep research okay so they discovered that david has a friendship with a very old man of 17 70 years old um i think he was from switzerland yeah he was from switzerland and david made a very bizarre very way portrait of this man it discovered all this after three years of the disappearance when a waitress from a near hotel give to the police a handkerchief that she discovered the days during the disappearance. In that handkerchief there was the name of the boy and the direction of his home. Um, the policemen were there to the hotel and see the register and saw that the man, the old man of 70 years old, the Switzerland man, the Switzerland has been in that hotel. Um, the waitress didn't give the handkerchief before because she was afraid that maybe she they thought she was involved or something. That's why she didn't give it before. So which for me it's it's really madness to give them like three years later. They took the man register, came along with the dates when David disappeared. The policemen focus on that man and they went to Switzerland to find him but they only found his ex-wife um, she told them that he went to Morocco to live and also she mentioned that he had really strange pictures of little boys kids or little girls the policemen search for those photos but they never found any photo of David. Another hypothesis that I want to mention also is the one that the police also um, see as a possible one which that David was kidnapped by um, like a kidnappers of that use kids for art to do art and then they get money of those artworks and as they know they have made maybe a research and know that David was a genius they kidnapped him this hypothesis has also a lot of people that thought about it um, like that came along with it and in Portugal a couple that were tourists and have seen the posters of David in news and uh, so they knew a little bit of the case uh, reported to the police that they have seen a little boy very similar to David painting on the streets when they went there the boy wasn't there the last things about the family that we know is that the father of David died so the brothers of David and the mother so they can receive the inheritance they had to say um, well to certificate that David was dead which is really upset because we didn't really know if he's dead or he might be alive but so they can get the inheritance the inheritance sorry um, they have to do this as I say from my point of view, it's really sad that nobody knows what happened with this kid. I'm sure he was going to be the next Picasso because he was a little genius. And it's really, really sad that after so many years, like they have made the case stop, uh, they have made the researchers stop. And it's 
really upset, upsetting. Sorry guys, it's a really sad case. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I do, because for me this case was really interesting. Um, I hope that maybe someday we can have a little clue of what happened with David. Um, also, if you like it, give it a thumb up and comment down below if you want me to do more of these videos because I don't know if I tell you this but I have to remake this video again but I did it very very happy because all I want is that the disappearance of David can be resolved.